my subscribers, my friends, rideshare drivers. This is a great, great move, like a chess move by the state of California on Uber and Lyft. Um, putting this document out there, encouraging California, uh, California Uber and Lyft drivers to fill this out so that they can start processing you for what? For misclassification. Got to hand it to California. They know how to put the pressure on Uber. Now, short and sweet, the link to this video will be beneath in the description. It'll take you to another video in my other channel where I'm trying to drum up hours. So it would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Even if you don't listen to the whole thing, just let it play. Just let it play for 20 minutes. It's about 22 minutes long. This helps me increase the hours. I'm trying to get to 4,000 hours in my other channel. Uh, when you click on that link, also subscribe if you haven't. You can watch it. I walk um, all 37 questions in that video. I walk you through it and tell you how to answer it. Right. So I've put that time in. Um, I would greatly appreciate it if you just click on it and just watch it. Even if you're in another state, you're just helping me. Let's say you're driving around, you can just click it and let it run. You don't have to listen to Torsten, a rideshare professor, but you are truly helping me drum up hours for my other channel. Why? Because that second channel is going to be talking about a lot of different things, right? A lot of other different uh, businesses that I've been in, a lot about real estate. I want to open you up to a lot of possibilities a wealth of information will also be talking a lot about business, motivation, etc. So that is a whole new animal, a whole new channel I want to share with you. My Rideshare Professor channel where you see this, obviously this is de dedicated to gig workers, Uber, Lyft, etc., food deliveries and so on and so on. The other one takes you more into the business world, empowering you, teaching you about marketing, what works, what doesn't work. I, I can tell you something over the years I've paid many, many educational dollars. I can tell you what works, what doesn't work. So this document, as I said, uh, the purpose this form may be used by a worker who believes that he, she um, is misclassified as an independent contractor or to provide information on the business entity to the Employment Development Department, EDD in California. They have the very same documents um, in other states. If you feel like you have been misclassified in another state, look this up, right? Request for preliminary worker classification. Now, the one thing be before I go into all the 37 answers, which is in that video, in that link, here's the thing. Opinion. Um, I've ticked this one off here. I'm requesting an opinion on whether I'm an employee or an independent contractor of the entity for which I'm currently working. This opinion is for your information and the entity will uh, not be notified of the EDD's opinion without your permission. I then start discussing all of these points all the way through, ladies and gentlemen, all six pages. I go um, through that with you step by step, what to answer, what to write in if you're in California, which means you get this going, you send it in, the address is on the top. And you force the state. The state is putting this out there. They are giving you a gift, my friends. They were the ones that said, hey, we want gig workers and drivers to start filling this out so we can show Uber and Lyft that they were misclassified. They want to put the dollars into your pocket. They want to force Uber and Lyft to start paying you. It's good news. It's only good stuff. So you will see here tons and tons of pages in that link beneath, in the description, I walk you through step by step how to do this. At the end, you sign, you print. Let me just tell you the very last uh, question that they posed. Please, number 37, please explain why you believe you are an employee or an independent contractor of the entity. Now, if you're doing this in Arizona, you give you explanation, but in California, it's easy. As of January, 2020 uh, AB5 ruling says that I, I'm an employee and as per the Dynamex Supreme Court ruling I qualify for the ABC test so I am an employee. Case closed, right? Um, the state will then start taking these applications, handing them to Uber and say pay him, pay her. 
please, please click on that link below, subscribe to that other channel, watch that video. I know it's 22 minutes. Even if you're out of state, you will learn a lot. It'll help you and show you how to fill out this form. I want to really get the money in your pockets, my friends. I appreciate you. Have a good night.